Hello YouTubers and my subscribers. I have a new product over here to show to you. It's the Wifly, Wifly, or Wi-Fly, I'm not sure, Beacon, wireless self-powered drone buzzer. I want to share this product with you because this is quite useful one. Especially if you lost your drone in the high grass and battery disconnected, which is a horrible situation. You can always, if battery did, you can always use your uh, uh, motor signal as a as a beacon, so you can find what it is. But if a uh, battery disconnected, then pretty much you are in big trouble. So it's a Wi-Fi beacon. We're gonna open up and see what's inside. So we got one beacon, one zip tie, and one double stick tape. I'm gonna look straight away in it. So it's only one buzzer, it's not a double one, I had a double one, but this one is uh, it's wireless, so uh, it gets charged through the micro USB, and we have here the switch, I don't know the size of the battery, it should be something around 100 milliamps, something, 1S, and uh, right here is a programming button, now I'm gonna show you how to program this by fly or v flee beacon, alright? How to program the Wi-Fi or Wi-Fi? I don't know. Beacon. So hold the button for two or five seconds. Yeah. When turning on, the buzzer will sound two whispers continuously. A LED, uh, a LED is on shortly. Yeah. When detecting a big crash, Wi-Fi beacon will enter pre-arm status that will sound one whistle every three seconds. If another movement is detected in 30 seconds, the pre-alarm status will be released. If no movement is detected in 30 sec seconds, it will enter alarm status. The buzzer will beep two loud sound continuously every 6 to 12 seconds. Red will flash when detecting the light darkness. Cool! That is quite good! So, it's beeping, and now I start to fly. It's detecting the movement. Look there! And I'll stop flying. I crashed. Woo, look at that! Uh, continuous line. Nice, it works. It works. This buzzer even have a stealing alert. Stealing alert function will be activated when weekly beacon enter the alarm status. If detected quick movement, it will beep continuously to warm the picker. Hold the button for 2 to 5 seconds to turn off the buzzer and release the warning status. Amazing. Cute little device. So how to program this little fella? So I press the button, two to five seconds. Let blinks one time. The sensitivity is high. If LED blinks two times, the sensitivity is medium. If LED blinks three times, the sensitivity is low. Hold the button two to five seconds to save the settings. So you have to first plug the micro USB cable and hold the power button for two and a half seconds. I don't have it over here, I already programmed it, so I will skip that now. And how to charge this little fella? When the voltage battery is low, the buzzer will beep two loud sounds every one second and charge via USB cable. The light light will be off when it's fully charged. To fully charge this, um, it's by the way 80 milliamp battery. You need uh, one, uh, one and a half hour to charge this 80 million battery. So input voltage is 4.5 up to 5.5 is standard phone charging. And uh, what to say? Um, position light and night. So you will have that. The LED light can flash automatically at night to make the drone visible when a built-in light sensor detects the darkness. <laughs> Even that is great. Even that is great. So, in case of crash, on the 30, first 30 seconds, we're gonna be on low volume. After 30 seconds to 2 hours, it will go to max volume every 6 seconds. And after 2 hours, every 12 seconds, idle until will empty the battery. And if you don't find it, you are pretty much screw then. So, how to mount it on your drone? This is a good saw, it, it's wireless. So you can have only one beacon for all your quads or planes, which I need that. I need just one, so I can skip every frame I have, every platform I have. So here I have my latest cute build. So where to mount this? It can be mounted outside, it can be mounted anywhere. But 
I recommend to mount it on a strap somewhere like this or here you can 3D print a part measure on 3D print a part and fit it on the side just make it like a pocket and when you don't use it when you don't want to use it or you want to put it on something else you just pull it out and put it on some other frame it is so uh, what is the running time on this one uh, so standby time is up to 10 hours and working time is up to 30 hours so and the dimensions are 25 by 14 oops sorry 25 length by 14 width and height is 15 millimeters so it oh, it can be smaller than this seems so you need light buzzer i need a decent battery you can even do the bigger battery so you just cut the heat shrink here and fit a bigger battery there and heat shrink back so you have like 150 milliamps and double power and what I plan to do here is I try to make here like a socket or sorry like a sock where I'm gonna just slide in this little fella with the buzzer around and that will be like sleeker and nicer to, to look and then just after I can pull it out and fit another frame so I need just one buzzer and it's a cool one with a cool cool stuff on it for a decent price about 15 bucks I paid for it cool that's it that's all for this review of the product and hopefully we'll see each other in next video that's all for now